Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie back at you today with another product review. And what I'm looking at is the Scoresby Very Rare Blended Scotch Whiskey. This is an 80 proof product. It was introduced in 1960. It is a Diageo brand. And Scoresby likes to consider themselves the connoisseurs whiskey. So we'll see. I bought this bottle for I believe $12.99. So 1.75 liter bottle. I've been sitting on it for a while. Um, we did an examination on Louisiana Beer Reviews channel, so go check that out. All right. Gave it a pour. It is a light golden color. And there are some nice alcohol eggs. All right. So on the aroma, Picking up a little bit of that peat smoke, but very, very mild, very little. Getting some spirit, like some, almost like some corn. Yeah, like some creamed corn or, uh, hmm, it's an odd aroma. I'm getting some um, some barley as well. Very mild on the aroma. There's really not too much going on. A little bit of that peat. Yeah, not too much on the aroma. I probably should have looked up some tasty notes on this one because I'm probably not going to have too much to say about this. It's it's very mild. There's really not too much going on with it. It smells pleasant. There's really just not a lot there. All right, so let's get into this. Cheers, guys. Okay. Definitely getting a lot more of that peat smoke quality on the palate right up front. It's a little spiciness to this one as well. Yeah, a little spice. Hmm. Like a white pepper note in the middle. And on the finish, there is an alcohol burn with this one going down the throat, um, which I think is just because it's not too complex and there, there's not a lot of flavor going on. So you're picking up on the alcohol a little bit more than you would with, uh, you know, something else that was aged a little bit longer and has more um, flavor to it. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but this is a three-year aged product. Not really getting too much wood. Not really a lot of barrel presence with this one. That peat, smoky character, a little white pepper. I still want to say there's like a corn thing going on. It's, it's kind of odd. I wasn't expecting to get corn with this. I don't remember picking up corn on it before. Like I said, I've had this bottle for a few months now. I'm over halfway down the bottle, so I would have uh, I would have thought that I would have picked up on this character before, but I really didn't get corn before. But I am kind of picking up on some corn here.
it's very smooth. It is enjoyable. Um, although I think there are some other cheap blended scotch whiskeys on the market that are a little bit better than this, that have more flavor, more going for them. This one would be good for the beginner um, because it's not going to have anything overly uh, bold or off-putting about it um, because, you know, scotch whiskey has that that smoky, peat, um, earthy quality to it. And it can kind of throw you off guard if you're not used to it. So my recommendation would be to start with something like this or um, Clan McGregor. Although Clan McGregor is a little bit better than this from my recollection. There you go, guys. Uh, very smooth, albeit, uh, not, I wouldn't say dull, but simple, blended scotch whiskey. Pretty cheap in my area, um, although I have talked to some people that say that it's uh, at a premium price point in their area, or a more premium price point in their area. It's still not super premium, but uh, it is... A little bit more expensive in some areas, but here in the part of Georgia that I live in, it's uh, it's dirt cheap, and uh, it's good. I would give it, um, I won't give it a numerical rating, but uh, uh, it's a B. I, I would say it's probably closer to a B minus. It's good, but eh, there's really not too much going on, and um, like I said, if you're new to scotch whiskey this will be a good introduction because it's very simple you get some basic scotch flavor but that's really about it it does finish very nicely um, it's a short finish very quick drop off with this one so that's about it guys Scoresby very rare if you see it you might want to check it out if you're trying to get into scotch it's a very easy going product that uh, you probably won't spend too much money on so there you go guys that'll do it for this product review hope you're having a great day and until next time everybody cheers